I was curious about the uh, the fight in the middle of the film, which is that incredible long take. Yeah. Was that did you guys conceive that in the writing process that it would be shot that way, or was that sort of more collaboration with the cinematographer? Uh, yeah, I mean that was that was an idea early on for that scene, and for a lot of the scenes to kind of be in the head of of Adonis. I think it brings an intimacy to it. And it kind of calls attention to it, you know, because people are like, oh, the one or the one or, but I think when you're watching it, you don't, f you think about that after. I think when you're watching it, you're just like, kind of with him, you know, with Adonis. In his first fight, which is nervous, you know, he's nervous, a little anxious, but also eager. Adonis to me is kind of like, you know, in lieu of Kobe Bryant retiring, it's kind of like a Kobe guy, like he just, you know, he may get nervous, but he's there. He's there to compete. You know, he's going to put his off. Yeah, but his he doesn't waver at all. He's like, even when he does get nervous or, you know, like he got sick before the first fight, yeah. he still like went in full force. Exactly. Like when, you, when he says like, you're like a woodpecker, that line, that's really what Adonis is. Like, you know, even if there's some obstacles, he's still like pretty determined. It's kind of daring too because... Uh, boxing round is three minutes right yeah. so you know you're recovering basically you know basically that time in the one so there's like there's an aspect to it of not just the camera techniques you know what I mean it's just like well we're only gonna follow him for three minutes we go into the corner then we come out for the next you know minute and a half or whatever it is of the round kind of gives it like an outside force of you know cause most one I think you see them in the movie and it's then you know they're great and it's just, well, whatever happens, happens, but we had like this out, this external clock on it, you know? Yeah. The bell's gonna ring, you know? If, if the winner goes a whole fight, it's, it's gonna be 12 minutes or whatever it is, you know? So there's like a, you kind of like an anticipation buildup for it, you know, and like an adds a level, it adds a stakes to it, you know? Yeah. I think it also like gives you the point of view of what it is to be in the ring and to yeah. be in a f real fight, which is that kind of quickness that you really don't see all the time on TV. Yeah, like yeah. On TV, it seems so methodical, but like in that shot, you sort of see how quick it goes and, you know, how much he had to sort of, you know, be attentive to what was happening. Yeah, yeah, and he has to change. You see how much boxers even go through, like, First he's nervous and then he gets hit and he's like, oh, that's not so bad. And he's like, come on, come on. And he sees Perino and he's like, uh, you know, first he's like taking it easy, like I'm just gonna knock this kid out. And then he's like, okay, now I gotta, you know, come on now, you know, you can see these changes happen in a split second. But like you said, you don't see, you only see if you play the sport. If you are a boxer, you don't really necessarily get that experience. Yeah, did, um, did you and Ryan do a lot of research into boxing and it's what the training process was like for boxers yeah funny when we were first had the idea I was actually taking some I was signing up at a gym and doing some boxing things I did that for about two months we, when we were riding Ryan did boxing training for a few months uh, to really get in the, um, the mindset of that and then we studied like ton of ton of boxing films all the HBO or Showtime boxing we Devoured all of those any YouTube clips, you know, just seeing what boxers training, even full fights and everything. So the idea of like writing a fight, um, or is it very? Were you and Ryan very specific as far as every move in the fights, or was it sort of laid out more on the set? We were pretty sp specific in the script, and I think some of that is uh, what is it like? You don't know what you don't know, you know. Yeah. So it's just like, well, we gotta tell people what we mean. So in the script, we were pretty specific, even like, you know, those are left hook, ducks, you know, whatever, like really like punch by punch at some points, just to really get the point across so people would see in the page what we wanted them to see on the screen. But then working with a um, really talented stunt team, uh, Clayton Barber and uh, Anthony Martin, we were able to, uh, you know, refine some things. And then even when we were shooting, Stallone uh, was there and refined things even further, you know. And then things changed in the edit, too. <laughs> but on, on the script, it was uh, it was a long chunk, you know. It was a few, quite a few pages of just this fight, you know, with the announcers, with, like, basically each punch. And, like, I think we even wrote more rounds than we ended up choreographing and shooting. Over both fights, or was it? For the final fight, oh, the really, final yeah, fight. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's true. So what does sort of like a fighting page look like in a way? It's not sort of like a big paragraph. You'd probably say like short action it is, lines it's, it's, in a way? Or? No, it's like, it's a couple big paragraphs. Yeah. It's a couple big paragraphs. It would be like two or three uh, before you cut out of the round. And you just write it like, you know, Adonis, you know, he's backing into the corner, puts his hands up, uh, you know, Colin comes with a right, left. Adonis blocks both, you know, you kind of really just write it how you would, if you were describing punch by punch a yeah, fight to somebody. Kind of paint the picture and yeah, in your mind yeah. as you're reading it. But I feel like, I feel like if you did like kind of a line for each punch, it almost feels, it doesn't feel like a flowing fight, it feels almost like a bunch of jump cuts, you yeah. know? So you just kind of write it straight out. But I don't think that's the only way to do it. I don't know that that's even the best way to do it. That's just the way we did it here. And then and then you collab with other people. You collab with the actors when they come in, which is stunt team. So you could write it either way as long as you can explain it to them when you're ready to shoot, which is what you're looking for, you know?